my turn. Hmm, I should get this one. Uh, a bird. Uh, a, a crow. A seagull. Yes. That's correct. That's great. Uh, this one. Ah. Uh, okay. Caw, Play the guitar. Yes. <laughs> seagull play. Yes. We're going to show you how to play silly animal charades so you can play too. This is what you need to make silly animal charades. First, you need to make your animal cards. Print your animal off the internet. And go on with the adult. You don't want to go on by yourself. You can cut animals out of magazines like these. Or you can color them. I'm cutting out this cute koala that I found. I want to make a dragon. And you can make any type of animal you want. You can make a rainforest animal, you can make a, a desert animal, even a water animal. While we make our cards, I'm gonna show you how to play silly animal charades. To play, you pick an animal first, and then you act it out. And just like regular charades, the kids have to guess what your animal is. Once they've guessed your animal, you go back to the bins and you pick an action for your animal to do. You act out your animal doing that action and the other players have to guess what action your animal is doing. And then it's someone else's turn. And that's how you play silly animal charades. Once you have your animal, you can glue it on a card. And after this, after I glue this on the card, this is going in the animal bin. With this cute koala I cut out earlier. Next, you have to find some actions. I'm gonna take this very cute squirrel reading. I'm gonna glue it on that card right there. I'm gonna put it in the actions bin. Right there. It's my turn. Kangaroo. Wait, a band, uh, uh, kangaroo. Yes. Uh, <laughs> kangaroo. It was a kangaroo. Wait. I'm gonna pick an action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm, what it is this time? <laughs> It's a kangaroo skipping rope. Yes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, crocodile. Yes. <laughs> For, at first, I thought you were trying to be a shark. Yeah, or something, something like that. Uh. Look at those rags. I mean, uh, uh. A crocodile stretching. stretching. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, a crocodile stretching. How to make an ocean in a bag. Look at my sparkly ocean. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First you need to squeeze some hair gel into a bowl. It's really gooey. Yep, very gooey. Then you wanna drop some blue food coloring into the gel. Just put in a few drops. You can always add more if you want to. Then you mix the food coloring and the hair gel together. Once your water is mixed, you're ready to make the rest of your ocean. First, you'll need a plastic bag. I'm adding some rice to make it look like sand. Now I'm gonna add some sea animals. Me too. I'm gonna add a little pink crab. I'm adding a turtle and a cute little fishy. These are just little plastic toys. You can use plastic grass for seaweed or kelp. I'm gonna use some crepe paper for seaweed. Me too. If you want to, you can scrunch some of your paper up to make it look more like seaweed. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. I like sparkly water. Important tip, do not put anything sharp in the bag. If you do, it will pop the bag. Once you have everything inside, then it's time to put your water in. Can you hold the bag for me? Sure. Ooh, it's goopy. Can you hold my bag open? Sure. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need. And then you have to seal the bag. 
we go. And then you work stuff around. Oh, it feels like cool water on a hot day. It feels so mushy and fun. You just keep squishing to mix everything together. I put in a manta ray, some seaweed, and a dolphin. It really looks like the ocean, just much more sparkly and glittery. Swim, Mr. Turtle, swim. And, and that's, that's how you make an ocean in a bag. How to play Old MacDonald Switcheroo. We're playing Old MacDonald Switcheroo. Here's how you play. You need a bowl full of picture cards. You can draw pictures or cut them out from magazines or even use stickers. The pictures can be anything, like a wild animal or food or something you play with. Just tape or glue the picture onto a card and then put the cards into a bowl. Let me pick one out. <laughs> I got a bowl. Now we need to think of a sound that a bowl makes and replace it from an animal for Old McDonald's. Bounce. I like that. Old McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a ball, E-I-E-I-O. With a bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There bounce, every bounce, every bounce, bounce. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Your turn, Gisela. <laughs> okay. A robot. A robot? With an ant. Oh, Here, the, mm, mm, there, and a mm, mm, there. Oh, I like Here, that. Mm, every once. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a robot, E-I-E-I-O. With a mm, mm, here, and a mm, mm, there. Here, mm, mm, there, and mm, everywhere. Boom, boom. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. My turn. I got a door. A door? A door. What about slam? slam? What about with the E here and an E there? <laughs> and now yeah. slam. E, e, e. Okay. okay. Old okay. MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a door. E-I-E-I-O. With an E, e there and an E, e there. Here e, 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 my fire breathing dragon. I named him Flame. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. The first step into making a fire breathing dragon is to get an empty toilet paper roll. After you've gotten that, you get some construction paper and you wrap it around like this, any color you want. And then you get a little tape and tape it. Then add the flames. You get some ribbons of your choice and you tape them to the inside of your dragon. Here's a tip. If you want your dragon to blow out more fire, stick more to the top than to the bottom. You can use anything you want, including ribbons, yarn, other types of streamers, Put them in any way you want. You can put some in the bottom, put some on the top. You can change the color. You can cut some paper out. You can really do anything you want with this dragon. I'm gonna put different colors of streamers in and make it look cool. <laughs> After this, you can decorate it any way you want. Here are some I made earlier. You can add glitter or any kind of decoration. Then you can add a face. I'm gonna put some pom-poms that are blue and green. I'm gonna put some googly eyes on them. Remember, you can do anything you want with this. You can attach them with glue, which is probably better for the pom-poms.
Sometimes it's easier to put the glue on the toilet paper roll than putting the glue on the pom-poms. Then you need to add two little things for his nose. You can use beads, coffee beans, smaller pom-poms, or buttons, or whatever you want. And I'm gonna put some glue on the bead first. Wait for the glue to dry. And that's how you make your fire-breathing dragon. Dragon, dragon, I want your jewels. No way, mister! Go away! No, no, no! Well, well then, can you at least touch my marshmallow? Sure, if that's what you want. Thank you. Mm, yummy. Would you like a bite? Sure. It's so yummy. Yes, it is. I love marshmallows, but I love my jewels more. But you can have the rest. Thank you. Rom, nom, 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 nom. How to make jiggly tea jellies. Do you want some dinner, baby jellyfish? Yeah, let's go get them. I'm going to get some fish. I'm going to get some octopus. We made Jiggly Wiggly Jellyfish. And we're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. First, we're going to make our Papa Jellyfish. First, you need a bowl. Ask an adult to poke a hole in the bowl so you can thread your yarn through. The reason why you're doing this is so that you can hang your jellyfish up on the wall or just play with it. And then pull it out almost all the way. When you're done with that, you're going to tape it so that it can stay. Tape it on the inside so no one can see. And so that you can hang it like this. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to take markers or crayons and color the bowl with it so that your jellyfish can have some decoration. You can use any colors you want. I'm going to use a red. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pink crayon and I'm going to um, color on top of the red marker so that it's very colorful and bright. I think the coolest thing about jellyfish is they get tentacles and so they can spin you. And the last color I'm going to add is green. You can decorate it any way you want to, like she decorated it with squiggles and lines. And I just decorated it and colored it all the way. You can draw hearts, you can draw smiley faces, you can draw anything you want on it to just make it look pretty. And so what you're going to do is, is you're going to take two googly eyeballs and you're going to use about this much glue and then you're going to stick it on the circle that we drew on the plate. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a stark green to draw a smiley face. Jellyfish don't really have eyes, but they are cute. When you're done with all that decorating, you've got only half of your jellyfish done. Now we're gonna move on to the tentacles. You can use um, ribbon, you could use cut up newspaper strips, you can use cut up magazine strips, you can really use anything you want. Right here we have ribbon and shred paper. And we also have yarn. I'm going to put a blue piece. And you can use glue or tape to stick it on, but if you want it to dry faster, you should use tape. Once you've got your tentacles on, you've made your Jiggly Wiggly Pop Jellyfish. Don't they look awesome? Ooh, it's so jiggly! Cause jellyfish don't have bones. <laughs> Come on, jellies, let's go! Shh! How to make a Halloween bat! Boo! <laughs> I'm so excited to go trick-or-treating. Me too! 
Mama, Mama, I want to go trick or treating. I'm not sure. Yeah, but the moon is out. It's and full. the ghosts are out. Oh. It's the perfect Halloween day. Okay, well only because it's Halloween. Yeah, let's go. Wee. We made our own Halloween bats. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. Here's how you make a Halloween bat. First, you need toilet paper tubes. Then you'll need some paper of any color. You want the paper to be about the size of your toilet paper tubes. You're gonna wrap the paper around the toilet paper tube. Then you're gonna tape the edges of the paper together so it will stay wrapped around. Then you're gonna draw on your face. I'm gonna draw eyes, fangs, and a mouth. I'm gonna draw eyes and just fangs. There, I made the face for the bat. Don't put your face too close to the top because you're gonna need space for the ears. The next step is to add your wings. You're gonna need another piece of paper. Then, you're gonna kinda make a fan. You're gonna fold on one side and then fold on the other. And then just keep doing that. Just keep folding back and forth until you get a fan. Once you have your fan, it will look like this. There, I made one. Then you fold your fan in half. Then you're gonna take the inside of the wing together. There, I have a wing. So do I. Then your wings get taped onto your bag. Then you add another wing to the other side. These bats might be really good for a Halloween party. I made my other wing. I got my other wing on and it's balancing. One last step, the ears. Just press down the middle of your toilet paper tube. That's the best part about Halloween. You just make stuff up. And that's how you make a Halloween bat. Ooh! How to make candy cane friends. Hi, Rudolph. Hi, Dancer. We have to go to the North Pole to see Santa. It's Christmas Eve. Let's go. We made candy cane friends. We're going to show you how to make them so you can play too. First, you need a lot of candy canes. You want to keep them in the wrapper so they don't get sticky. And then you decorate. We're going to use pipe cleaners to make the antlers. First, twist it around the candy cane. You wrap the pipe cleaner right about where the hook starts. Next, shape the antlers. So you're kind of twisting the pipe cleaner around your finger. It's going to make curly antlers. my antlers. Me too. If it gets a little bent, it's okay because you just can position it where you want it. Yeah, you just bend it back into place. And then you make the reindeer's face. We're using googly eyes, but you can use anything from buttons to pom-poms. I'm using some sticky eyes. You just peel one off and you stick it right on the curve of the candy cane. You want to put them on the sides of the candy cane. There, my eyes are done. Then you can add a nose. You're gonna need some tape and some pom-poms. If you use double-sided tape, it makes it easier. I'm wrapping the tape around the candy cane right where it's about to end. I'm using a red pom-pom like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And I'm using a pink one. Once you're done making your candy cane friends, you can put on a candy cane puppet show for your whole family. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. These can make great Christmas decorations and gifts. And, and that's, that's how you make candy cane friends.